Do you want to detect the mode changes from Ring in Hobbitat so that you can use that to your advantage? System is armed away. Stay tuned. Hello people and welcome to another episode of Everyday Smart. In a previous video we showed how to detect the mode changes from Ring and use them to our advantage in Hobbitat. But in that video we could only detect the generic arm. So whenever Ring was arm stay or away we detected that as just arm and then the second state was disarm. So in this video the plan is to show how you can detect the arm stay or the arm away or the disarm as three different states so you can use them however you want in Hobbitat and have different actions running depending on any of those three different states as opposed to the previous video that was just two states arm or disarm. For this, you're going to be needing the Hobbitat Elevation Hub. In my case, I'm using the C5 version. You will also need the Ring Base Station, which is what we're going to be detecting the mode changes from and then using them in Hobbitat. And for this to work as well, you're going to be needing the Alessa app because the Alessa app is going to be that middleman that is going to be communicating between Ring and Hobbitat. So let's get to it. The first thing that you need to do is to go to the devices and the reason for that is that we're going to be creating a virtual device, actually three virtual devices. Each of the virtual devices is going to correspond to each of the states that we want to detect from Ring. So click on add virtual device, give it a name. In my case, I'm going to call it Ring Stay Sensor. And the type of the device that we want for this is a virtual switch. So look for that. Select it, click save device. Okay, so we have one of the devices, click on device list and click add virtual device again. This one, I'm going to call it ring away sensor. Again, select virtual switch. Click save device. Those are two devices already. Go ahead and click add virtual device again to create the third one. In this case, I'm going to call it ring disarm sensor. And again, virtual switch. Click save device. So we have created the three devices already that we're going to be using in the Alessa app to detect the three different modes from ring. But to be able to do that, we need to push these three devices to Alessa app. So go to the app section, click on the Amazon Echo skill. Click on select devices and look for those three devices that you just created. In my case, these three ring away sensor, ring disarm sensor and ring stay sensor. Once you click update, those devices are going to be pushed to the Alessa app. So we are now in the Alessa app and what we want to do is to use those devices now to create different routines. So click on more, click on routines, click on add a new routine, enter the routine name. In this case, I'm going to call it ring stay sensor. Click next. Now you want to select what is the trigger for this routine? So click on that, click on smart home, look for ring, click ring. And then this is for the stay one. So click arm stay, click next. And now the action that you want to do. So 
whenever ring is arm stay, what do you want to do? In my case, I want to add the action of turning on the ring stay sensor. So look for smart home. Look for all devices and look for that device. Ring stay sensor. And you want to turn it on. That's what I want. Click next. Now this is the tricky part because we're going to be doing this for the other sensors as well. Whenever ring is armed away, then we're going to turn on the ring away sensor. And whenever ring is disarmed, we're going to turn on the ring disarm sensor. So for every state, we have to turn on that sensor, but we have to remember to turn off the other sensors. So those are additional actions that we want to have in here as well. So click on add action, go to smart home, all devices, and now you want to make sure that your other two switches are turned off. So look for those two, ring away sensor, off, nest. And now the last one, the disarm one. So same thing, add action, go to smart home, all devices, and look for that device. Ring disarm sensor, off. Click next. That's it, this is all we need for this specific routine for detecting when ring is arm stay. Click on save. That routine was created, now we need to add a second routine. This one is gonna be for whenever ring is arm away, so click on add a name and I'm gonna call it ring away sensor. Click next. Now for the trigger, click on when this happens and again it's gonna be smart home and look for ring. Click ring and in this case it's for arm away, click arm away, nest and then the action that we want now we want to turn on the ring away sensor so look for smart home all devices, ring away sensor, we want to turn it on, nest, and we want to turn off the other two, so click add action, smart home, all devices, look for one of the other two. Okay, so ring disarm sensor is going to be turned off, nest. One more action, click add action, smart home, all devices, and look for the ring stay sensor, which is the one that we're missing right now. Ring stay sensor, turn it off as well. Click next, so you can see here, we're gonna be turning off the stay sensor, off the disarm sensor, but on the away sensor. Click save, that's it for that routine. We're missing one more routine, so click add, enter the name, and this one is for detecting when ring is disarmed, so ring disarm sensor. Click next. For the trigger event, click on when this happens, smart home, and it's gonna be ring. Click on ring, and this one is for disarm. Click disarm, click next, and now for the action, the first thing we want to do is to turn on the disarm sensor. So click add action, look for smart home, all devices, and look for the ring disarm sensor. Ring disarm sensor, click it, turn it on, click next, and now we want to turn off the other two, the away and stay. So click add action, smart home, all devices and look for one of the other two. Ring away sensor, turn it off. Nest. 
and then one more the state sensor so click add action smart home all devices and look for the ring state sensor to turn it off ring state sensor turn off nest so again we can see here whenever ring is disarmed we're gonna turn off the stay sensor turn off the away sensor and turn on the disarm sensor click save so that's everything we need to do in the alexa app now we need to go back to habitat so now back in habitat those virtual devices are gonna be change by Alexa based on the ring state. Now what you have to do is to create rules in order to use those changes in state to run any actions that you want to run. So let's do an example real quick. So go to apps. We're in apps already. Go to rule machine. Click on it. Click create new rule. Name this rule. So in this case, Anytime that I arm ring away, I want my Sonos speaker to say system is arm away. So in name this rule, I'm going to call it arm away TTS, test to speech. So the trigger event is going to be when that arm away sensor turns on. So click on the capability for new event trigger and we know that that is a switch so look for switch click switch select that switch we know it's the ring away sensor so ring away sensor click update and we want this to happen when that switch turns on so click down with this trigger event that's the only trigger event we want, so done with trigger events. And now the actions that we want to run, like we mentioned, is the Sono speaker saying that the system has been armed away. So click on select action type to add. Click on send, speak, or log a message. Click on select which action and click send or speak a message. Enter the message you want to send or speak. In this case, again, is system is arm away you want to speak that message so enable that and then on the speech device you want to select your sonos device in my case the living room sonos click update click done with this action click done with actions and there you have it so this rule is gonna take that change from ring only when it is armed away and it's gonna say that in the Sonos speaker. So same way you can apply this same thing for the other two states. So instead of using the ring away sensor turns on, you can use the ring state sensor or the ring disarm sensor. And then you can use whichever action you want to run. Click done and that will conclude the creation of the rule. Now you have it and it's gonna be running. That's pretty much it people. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss any of the videos that I'm going to be uploading. So hit the bell icon so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Again, thank you for watching and see you next time. System is armed away.